Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm just going to go over because this these are going to be the monthly readings. I want to go over um, the astrological part of your readings for this month. Okay, May. Um, May 26th is going to be the full moon. Okay, and the, it's going to be the full moon eclipse in Sagittarius. And this is a great time um, to clear away things, you know, get rid of things, um, things that you want, things that you don't want. So to kind of change things up, you know, kind of reflect on the things that you want and the things that you don't want and get rid of the things that you don't want anymore. Okay. Jupiter is going to be leaving. Um, it's going to be moving into Pisces um, this month. So uh, the new moon, which will be on the 11th, May 11th, in most of the parts of the country, um, is going to be in Taurus. Um, and that is um, all about abundance, okay? It's a great for intention setting and bringing things to a new level when it comes to your monies. So um, make sure that you are doing some intentions this month. Um, you know, around the 11th when it has to do with money. So you can bring that um, gains with the abundance up. So you, more money can come to you, okay? Things um, to kind of work on this month would be uh, your luck, changing your luck. Um, it's a great time to change luck. It is another great time to let go of the past, Letting go of things that, uh, you know, we can't control. You know, we can't go back. We can't bring that back. So we want to change that. We want to get rid of those things from the past that no longer serve us any purpose. Um, they just bring us down. So, so try to work on that. And then also reconstructing your life. You know, reconstruct the way that you want things to run. You know, kind of do a little bit of soul searching and do, uh, do a little bit. Great time for meditation um, this month also. So that's a little bit of things that, um, you know, we can work on astrologically wise. And, you know, remember that, that full moon, 26th, is, <clears throat> it is that eclipse in Sagittarius. So clearing things out, great, great, great time. And May 11th, uh, abundance. So great things that are coming in this month in May. So I'll stop there. We'll get on with your readings and I'll see you in a little while. Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. And today I'm going to get on with your reading. And um, this will be for my cancers. And this is going to be for May of 2021. Hope you guys had a great week. Uh, my week has been good. Um, can't believe it's May though. Uh, this week just flew by. So let's get on with your reading. Give these some shuffles. Get on with your reading. <clears throat> I have some uh, shaman music on in the background. So if you like this, um, you can get it on YouTube. It is on YouTube. Common healing music. I think we all need a little healing. Always can use healing, right? All right, so angels, guides, and spirits. What is it that cancer needs to know for the uh, May of 2021, please? May of 2021. Your cards are just flying out. All right, one more. There it is. Okay. So they look good, guys. Um, they really do. 
first card uh, cards that I'm going to read are your inner influences. These are the cards that are here now or the cards that will be coming in quickly for you. I have the four of hearts. This is the no, um, number 17 card. Okay, this is the fish. This is riches through stocks. Okay, so if you are not in the stock market, I suggest you putting some money into the stock market because that is where you will get some money from. It can also um, be talking about a water sign. So it can be talking about a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces coming into you. Um, but everything looks good there. Um, so, you know, it, you know, the stocks, play the stock market, that's where you're going to get some success there. Five of diamonds. Um, this is the anchor. Okay, this is success in um, your ventures, in business, and in love. So, but the one thing that you want to do is you want to stay put like an anchor. You know, it's anchoring yourself down. Stay put there um, so that that stuff will come to you. Okay, if you are in a love relation, stay in that love relationship because things may get better, um, you know, with a love relationship if you were in some kind of a turmoil. Um, but stay in that love for now. Um, and if you are with business, you know, in some kind of a business, stay where you're at because that is, um, you know, you're going to get the business success, but you need to stay put. Ten of Diamonds is the scythe. And this is um, some kind of a disappointment that's coming. Um, it can be talking about somebody, and I hate reading this card because um, I get a lot of comments every time I read this card. And um, it can be talking about an early death. So it may be talking about somebody that you know that had passed away from maybe an early death or somebody that you aren't real close with. Um, or with somebody that you're acquainted with may pass of an early death. I don't want to hear any comments because I'm just reading the cards as they come. Seven of diamonds is the flame. Okay. This is um, anything that um, is bad that is coming into you is going to be null and void. Okay. So it's, it neutralizes. It kind of puts that shield up around you that protects you. It's kind of like a protective shield that kind of helps um, from, you know, that negative stuff, pushing it away, okay? Blocking you from anything negative. Um, it can also be talking about a fire sign. So it can be talking about an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius coming into you. King of Clubs is the bear. This is a successful, this is success, and it comes in nurturing or lovingly. Um, caring, you know, it's all that loving and caring success that's going to be coming into you. Eight of diamonds is the broken glass. Um, you're going to have some ill luck, um, when it comes to gambling, um, when it comes to putting your name in drawings or a lottery, you're not going to be as lucky as you once were in that aspect. Three of spades is the number 10 card. This is the most phenomenal card in the deck. This is uh, an omen for phenomenal luck, great abundance, high honors, and all of your ambitions will be obtained. That is an awesome card to get. That means that everything is going to work out good for you. Nine of spades is the rose. This is, indicates rugged health and beauty. So you have beauty and you're going to have some rugged health coming in. That's awesome, guys. All right. So let's um, read these next cards. The next cards that I read are your outer cards. Okay. These are the cards that are out there. They are sitting out there and they're waiting to come into you. Ten of spades is the rod. This um, is family corals. So you may have some kind of a family quarrel um, that may start. It usually comes from somebody that you're not real close with. It usually starts with a relative or a that either lives out of town or that is uh, that you're not real close with that starts the trouble. Okay. Nine of diamonds is the heart. This is great joy is near. Great joy wants to come into you. King of Diamonds is the letter. 
okay? This is good tidings are coming into you um, and good fortune is expected. Awesome, and it's gonna be coming in maybe in the form of a letter of some sort. The next one I have is the Queen of Spades. This is the Amor. This is the Cupid. Somebody is looking at you um, with great love and longing. They want to be with you and they love you. The next card that I have is the Six of Clubs. This is the Lightning. And this is a, a surprise is coming into you. And it's going to be coming in quickly. Just like that Bolt of Lightning. It's going to be coming in very fast for you. The Two of Clubs. This is um, a long journey that you have been going through. Um, so this journey that you have been going on. It can be, uh, you know, maybe money-wise that you've just don't have the money or maybe a relationship that's been on a long journey, something that you have been working at, something that's been in your life for a long time. This journey is about to end. So new things are going to start to come to you and new opportunities and new things are going to start to come in to you, which is awesome. The next card I have is the Jack of Spades, and this is the Shepherd. And this is, um, you have a intense love of life. Um, you love life. You love things. Um, you have a strong feeling towards fellow people. So people that are close to you, you have a strong feeling towards those people. The Four of Clubs is the key. Success is coming to you, but you need to put in a little bit of work. Okay, so it's kind of like um, how I look at it, and I say this all the time, the key. You know, you have to put a key into a lock to unlock the door, right? And then you open the, you turn the door handle and open the door, and on the other side of that door is where your, your success is going to be. But that little bit of work that you need to put into that to get that success, you know, you have a little bit of work to do to be able to get that success, and, but it's coming to you. It's on the other side of the door, guys. Okay, so let's talk to universe now. Um, so that was your main reading. So universe, is there any input that you want to put into that reading um, for my cancers or add to that reading or clarify with that reading that I just did, please? For my cancers. One more shot. Need some cards here. All right. We have the dragonfly. We have lake. We have the green man. And we have dream time. Okay, so one thing that they want you to do is be still. You know, stillness, um, if we can just be still for maybe 10 minutes a day and just relax and forget about things and just go into that meditation mode or maybe just go outside and listen to the birds and try to forget all those things that are going through your head 110 miles a minute, you know, and just sit down and they want you to spend some time in nature you know, spend some time outside and look at the trees or listen to the birds or take a walk, you know, something to do outdoors, spend a little bit of time outdoors. They want you to start creating, creating your destiny, creating the dreams that you have, um, you know, that you dream about. Get those into your head and start thinking about those of the things that you want to happen. Once you start to do that and you meditate on those and you say to yourself, oh, if it's say that it's um, money that you want, you know, you dream money, you think of money, you know, you think of ways to make money. You're constantly thinking and thinking and you're asking. You know, once you do all that stuff, once you meditate on that, um, you know, you're going to emerge and you're going to emerge like that beautiful dragonfly um, and open up and that beauty and that success and everything that you have dreamt about that you have created for yourself will be coming to you. But you need to do that little bit of work. 
again, right? Okay, so that is from universe. So let's talk to spirit. Spirit, give me a card that uh, my cancers need to reflect on for the month of May, please. What card do they need to reflect on? Give me a card that cancers need to reflect on. Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument. Two sides, if not more, to every story and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today, we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys. And some people might refuse to remain open to another point of view. No matter what you've presented with, what you're presented with, a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people in situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so, so much. So don't think you're the only one that's right. You know, um, look at the big picture. When Maybe you're in an argument or maybe, um, you know, there's always two sides to the story. When we're in an argument, we don't see, we see our side as the only side. But if we really sit and think about it, it's not just our side. It's their side also. So once you meet that common ground, you know, then you can start to think a little bit clearly, um, you know, you get into an argument and you're like, it's all their fault. They did it. No, it's not all their fault. You contributed something, you know, or this argument wouldn't have happened. So you have to kind of look at the way that they think to um, look at the way that they do things. You know, their, their life is different than yours. So their opinions are a little bit different than yours. So you kind of have to do that leeway, give a little, you know, and listen a little bit more. Okay. And then, you know, those wonderful things you're going to learn about, you'll learn about the way other people react to things and the way that they do things and why they think the way that they think, you know, it's all that learning, you know, attracting new people and thinking, you know, sometimes if we observe instead of opening our mouth, you know, we learn so much more than if we're running our mouth all the time, you know, and trying to say, I'm the one that's right and you're the one that's wrong, you know. Okay, so I thought because this month is um, about attracting money, it's about abundance. Um, I want to uh, pull a card for from my uh, notes from the universe on abundance. So let's pull a card from that and see what it is, um, you know, that is resonating with you this month on abundance. So universe, give me a card uh, for cancers on abundance, please. Okay, let's see here. Here is the front of your card. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful hillside with that sky in the background and those rocks. It's just very inviting, very calming. The only economy that matters and can actually put money in your purse, your wallet, or the cracks of your sofa is the economy. Created by your thoughts, words, and actions. Every day, someone new near you becomes a millionaire. Next, the universe. So 
we have to think we have to create things in our thoughts, right? And our words and our actions to be able to create what we want. You know, it's telling you every day someone new near you becomes a millionaire. And why? Because they think it, they wish it, they want it, they talk about it. It's in their thoughts, it's in their words, it's in their actions. You know, if you're gonna go around saying I'm broke all the time, you know, you're gonna be broke. You know, I can't pay my bills. Well, you're not going to be able to pay your bills. If you say, I have it already, you know, that money is here. It's it's here. I have it. Think good things. I can pay my bills this month. Or I do have money. You know, the things that you come, that come out of your mouth is the, the things that you're putting out into the universe for it to happen. Just remember that. All right, one last card for you guys. This is your reflection card for the month of May. And that one fell right out. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. So true. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself and I love others and others love me. So remember, you are the one, you have to love yourself. If you don't love who you are and who, you know, you, if you don't love yourself, you don't love who you are, then you're not gonna be able to love others as easily. You know, um, once you love yourself, then that love just for other people just happens. So I, loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. Beautiful reading for my cancers. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely beautiful May. And I will see you for the weekly reading next week. I love you guys. Mwah.